I want to talk a little bit about Austin Butler. I said no in and out points, but I actually have two or three like stories I'm going to slip in when we're talking about some of these actors here. So Austin oh Butler, God. he won the Golden Globe earlier this month uh, for Elvis. And we all saw may have taken method acting a bit too far because uh, he, he still has the Elvis accent. And his voice coach says it may be part of him forever. Uh, she said, quote, he was never going to be, and director Baz Luhrmann didn't want him to be, an Elvis impersonator. That's the last thing they wanted him to be. What they wanted was a true connection with the personality of Elvis and his story. And that's what Austin worked on. What you saw in that Golden Globe speech, that's him. It's genuine. It's not a put on. I feel sorry people are saying that, you know. It's still acting, but he's actually taking the voice on board. I don't know how long it will last or if it's going to be there forever. This is so annoying. This is like when people go away overseas and they come back and they've got like that accent and you're like, oh, my God, give it up. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is just such. This is like one of those things where it's just to create more buzz for our Austin Butler. It's just so silly, which is so stupid. You would think like. If I was an actor, I would like want to drop the accent on the campaign trail. So then people would be like, whoa, he doesn't sound anything like he did in the film. Yeah. What a transformation. Yeah. It's like, I'm not seeing that at all here. And it's like, mm. I'm, yeah, I'm that good. But it's like, no, it's like, well, if you're just doing the same voice again, oh, that is you like in a way. But uh, let's hear why he thinks it's there. And it might be a scientific reason why. Yeah, I don't even think about it. I, I uh you know, I don't think I sound like him still, but I, I guess I must because I hear it a lot. Um, I think, you know, I often liken it to when somebody lives in another country for a long time. And I, I had three years where that was my only focus in life, so I'm sure that there's just pieces of my DNA that will always be linked in that way. In his it's, DNA? It's in oh his DNA. Oh my God. <laughs> It's in his genes Jeez, now, Kyle. people, man. He's going to pass it to Louise. his kids. He's oh. just a, oh my God. I I don't want to hear about any <laughs> acting process. Go away. See, you are hot. You're a hot dude <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, it's just, that's what it is. And then I, they put more importance on it than it is. It's just, you did your best with the accent. Good for you. Let's move on. And if well, he sounds like him, that's probably why they hired him in the first yeah. place. Here's the thing, though. I mean, is he going to have this voice in other projects now? I mean, he, this is a bad thing to be if you're an actor. I mean, I looked up his next roles, and uh, his, he has two roles on the docket. The Bike Riders, which is a 1968 motorcycle club movie. Okay, that could work. That could maybe work with the voice there. But the other film is Dune Part 2. I don't think it works <laughs> in Dune. <laughs> like, are we going to have him? With the the sandworms and all yeah. and all the spices, talking he's like he's gonna Elvis. be riding the Sorry, sandworm. Mama, I can't get no spice tonight. Yeah, he's gonna be riding the sandworm, playing guitar, and he's <laughs> doing his best Elvis impersonation. Well, maybe he can transform his Elvis voice into the new voice for projects, but then it goes back to the Elvis voice. It's just his Austin Butler voice is gone. Also, I want to go back to what they were talking about with Boz Lerman, where it's like. We didn't want it to be this caricature. When you look at Baz Luhrmann's films, they are all a caricature. That's all Baz Luhrmann is. I mean, I don't know what. It's like over the top candy. Like, Baz, did you see what Tom Hanks was doing in Elvis? I know. Like, like, <laughs> you weren't worried about his voice? They were so mesmerized by Austin yeah. Butler's Elvis that they forgot what happened to Tom Hanks. Yeah.